Good morning, ma'am. Very good morning. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? We good. are good. Thank you. Shall we start? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me something about yourself? A very good morning. I'm very glad to introduce myself. I'm Kirti. I'm born and raised from a city called Palwancha. And I had completed my graduation from Vagdev Engineering College under the stream of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. I did my diploma and schooling in Kamam. I never ever want to waste my time that proves my additional skills. I got more than 80% in all my academics. I got more achievements and certificates regarding sports in my schooling as well as my graduation. I have a beautiful family of four members. My father is an artisan. My mother is a proud homemaker. I always use it to respect my father because he always used to teach me the value of every single rupee that proves that leads a happy life as well as a beautiful life. Thank you, ma'am. Hi, Kirti. Hi, ma'am. This is Sarita and I am your technical interviewer. Okay. So, how do you know about PEGA? Because you are from a non-IT background, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. How do you know about PEGA? Yes, ma'am. Um, as I am related to non-IT background, uh, I am not aware of all these IT technologies. So, but I am very much interested and intend to work into this IT technology. So, one of my brother uh, recommended PEGA because PEGA is a low coding platform and as well as a form based platform. So, I think it will helpful to me as I am related to non-IT background. So, I learned PEGA. Okay. What are the PEGA rules you practiced during your case study? I have created different rules in my case study. I have created properties, section, flow, flow action and decision rules, decision tables and activity, data transform and report definition rules which are useful for our case study. Okay, we move on to next question. Yes, what is class and explain class structure? Ma'am, uh, class is a unit structure which takes on specific input and it compresses different functional components and it works together to uh, complete a business transaction and it take and it gives a specific output. Uh, there are three levels in class structure. The number one is I mean framework, implementation and organization. In in this framework implementation and organization, we have data classes and in classes. So data classes are de derived from data dash OTB classes, work class are de derived from work dash OTB classes and in classes are derived from in dash OTB classes. Okay, we move on to next question. Okay. What is property and explain different types of properties? Property is a, a, a variable in other programming language whereas in PEGA it holds the values and associated with naming property. In property we have three types. First one is uh, single value property and page group and page page property and uh, advanced property. In single line property we have uh, data, text, integer, uh, email, uh, date and time. In page property we have page list and page group in value i mean in advanced property we have value list and value in okay tell me the difference between page list and page group page list is an order collection of pages and it is where each page is associated with index and whereas in page group page group is an unordered collection of pages and where each pages will have name okay that is very clear yes. have you practiced activities Yes ma'am, I practiced on activities. Activity is nothing but activity is a rule which is used to implement the business logic and as well as activity is defined as it is used to fetch the data from the rule base. We have different methods in activities. We have OBJ save, page, page new, page delete, OBJ save, OBJ delete, OBJ delete by handle, OBJ open, OBJ open by handle and OBJ browse. And we can create more, I mean we can add 28 steps in an activity. So, uh, more than 28 steps, it leads to execution problem. Explain the differences between call and branch. In call, it calls the child activity. The parent activity will wait for the child activity to complete. After the child activity gets executed, the control comes back to parent activity. And it, the further steps of call will get executed. And it is, this behavior is called as a synchronous processing. And whereas in branch, it brands the child activity. The parent activity will wait for the child activity to execute. After the child activity get executed, the control comes back to parent activity and the behavior is called synchronous processing and the further steps of branch step will get ignored. Okay, we move on to next question. Yes. What are the rules get created while creating the data type? While creating the data types, there are six rules get created, properties, class and a physical table and class and table mapping will get created and uh, report definition and data pages. Okay, we move on to next question. Yes, Explain about report definition and tell me the differences between report definition and activity. Report definition is nothing but report definition can 
able to fetch the data from the rule base and it can display the data in chart form as well as in table form difference is nothing but in report definition it displays the, it fetch the data and it displays the data in chart form as well as in uh, table form in activity it only fetch the data it will not display any data in uh, report definition export to pdf is possible by defaultly in activity there is no option like that uh, scheduling is also possible in report definition in activity scheduling is not possible and in report definition joining among the table is possible in activity joining among the tables is not possible okay yes. next question explain about data transform data transform means it is used to assign the values to the properties and it is used to copy the pages from one page list to another page list and data model data transform can be created under data model category okay can we call one data transform in another data transform as well as can we call activity in a data transform yes ma'am we can call data transform in data transform by using action called apply data transform and we can call activity in data transform by using call activity and uh, px execute activity okay kirti we are done with technical round we will continue with hr okay ma'am. okay kirti coming back what are your strengths and weaknesses I am easily adaptable to any kind of enrollment and I am flexible to work at any technologies. I am an efficient team worker and I can work as an individual as well as a team player and I am a positive thinker whereas weakness um, and I feel uncomfortable until I finish my work and I will sit too many hours in front of computer to finish my work. Right Kirti, what are your short term and long term goals? Ma'am, my short term goal is to get a job in a good reputed company like you where I can grow up my technical skills as well as my practical knowledge. My long term goal is to uh, become a more responsible in an organization as well as to achieve a higher position in an organization. According to you, what is success? Ma'am, to me, success means to have a goal and plan the steps to achieve the goal, implement the plan and finally achieve the goal. Okay, Kirti, why should we hire you? I think I am very flexible and adaptable to work at any technology and I am flexible to learn new things and I will enhance my skills and knowledge and I will work hard to I will work hard to lead a team and I have a theoretical knowledge and to implement the theoretical knowledge in a practical way in order to the growth of the organization as well as myself and I will able to complete my task in within the given time period and I am a smart worker and a positive thinker. I think uh, these are the best qualities in me that you can hire me. Thank you. Okay Kirti, thank you so much. We will get back to you shortly. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Sir.